One of the things that I have been considering is starting a new character. This character is mainly focusing on strength, so I'm going to try to do that today. One of the things I was having fun uh, with my current character, and he still has a lot to do to finish the game, but he's pretty far into it. Um, I think he has two of the four souls he needs to finish the game. So he still has two more souls he needs to get in order to finish the game, and he needs um, maybe there's other places to explore too. So, but so he's not finished. But this is the weekend, and I was thinking, you know, I would kind of like, and I have wondered several times, because I keep getting these weapons that re require 46 strength, 50 strength. And I'm thinking, what would it be like to have 46 strength or 50 strength? So I sat down and tried to figure out how would I create a character that would have that much strength? Well, it turns out it's not easy to create a character that has 50 strengths. You gotta get really high level. Whoops. So, I'm going to create a character who's strength focused. I don't know if I can get to 50 strength. Uh, I can't get to 46 strength though. Uh, 50 strength would allow me to wield the um, shield. It requires 50 strength, but man, it's hard to get to 50 strength. I mean, you get, you're so weak in so many other things in order to do that. Now you have to increase your endurance quite a lot also because you need, in order to carry this heavyweight stuff, you need a lot of endurance. So you need strength and you need a lot of endurance. And if you can't cast range very often, you're going to need a lot of vitality. So I look at this and I say, I'm, I'm going to need... Um, I think I want to start off as a pyromancer so that I actually have something when I start going through my strength things. I'll, I'll actually have pyromancy and I won't have to try to figure out how to get it because I'll be so weak. <laughs> and that, you know, I believe in here one of the things I'm going to have is dexterity is going to have to get up to, to 12. So that I can use a bow. This, uh, that's the minimum requirements for a composite bow. The dexterity is going to have to get 12, so that's going to affect um why don't I just do average? I'm going to go with commoner. Let's give him Let's go with wild. Uh, in color. I uh, probably won't ever even get to see the hair. Let's go with gray. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm looking at this, but I'm thinking uh, when I'm looking at this, uh, two men I'm not going to have to mess with. I probably will stay at 12. Might bring it up to 14, but uh, it depends on how it works out. I got down that I could bring it up to 14. Endurance is going to be a major factor. It'll probably get as close to 40 as I can get it. Strength, 46. Dexterity, I think the minimal is 12. I think I have to get 12 in order to shoot a bow. 
A resistance we won't mess with. Intelligence. There's a reason to get to 11, but... And to cast some of the um, spells like invisibility, I need to be 14. So there's a chance that I'll get the 14. And if I do, I will never get strength to 50 during the time I play it. But if I decide to just leave it at uh, 11, then, then I will be able to get um, strength to 50. But I think I'm going to keep strength at 46, and those extra four points I'm going to put into the intelligence. That's how I look at it right now. Who knows what it'll be later. Uh, in faith, I guess it'll stay at eight. I don't know if it needs to be higher for any reason. So, if there turns out to be a reason, then I guess I'll change it later. But I don't think there is. So, I guess this will be my character. I'm going to skip this opening because I saw it with my last character. I guess I'll skip this opening. All right, so this here starts my character. Life as a paramancer. Oh. But he's not going to be a pyromancer for long. So my strength bill will have vitality. Uh, I expect... I can't say how high vitality is going to be. Since I'm going to be fighting up close, I probably need to get at least 30. My other guy never even made it to 25. Um, but I can see that if you're fighting more things up close, you need to be a little bit... Have a little bit more health. Right now, I suspect because I need uh, health and strength, uh, I will probably use both the Habel Ring and the Ring of Favor. So, no more of this sneaky stuff I, I'm used to doing, which I enjoy so much. But that's a change for this character. There'll be a lot of things I can't do the same because he's not going to have any spells. He'll have Pyromancer spells, but that'd be the only spells. Not sure how much, how many points I'm going to put into raising his Pyromancers. The last one, you know, it uses a lot of souls if you're trying to increase your Pyromancer. Uh, especially if you're trying to get it to Ascended plus five. Man, that's all. 500,000 souls or so. A lot. So I don't know if I'll get Pyromancy up that high. I have ways to get uh, souls though, so I can I can power level after I get so far along into the game. I want to somewhat power level here. I mean, not here, but early in this this part. It's, uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable with this, too, since I've actually done this once before. So some things were before, it was like total guesswork. Uh, this time I actually know more stuff. So there's some advantages of knowing. Now, I have, still haven't finished. No, I still haven't finished the, the game, so I still can't, uh... There's still things... I don't know, but I'm trying to. I think I'm going to go up here and grab this. This is take way, take way too long.
might have to spend a little bit of time thinking how I want to do this. I haven't, I didn't know for sure that I would do this today. Start on the, start working on my uh, different character. That's just not something I, I thought that I would do. I wish to ask you and I. Yeah, I'm skipping this stuff because I've already done it. I, I guess pe some people much, watching may not have done it. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. All right. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. Okay. So you're not going to harm me after death. At least I hope not. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was thinking one hit was going to take him out, but no, that was wrong. So we need this piece here. This is going to get somebody to attack me, so. Oh man. I can't believe I did that. Alright, let's see how I am on my pyromancy skills. out well. Alright, let's see if we can do this and get out of here without dying. No guarantees. the way to do it. Yeah, I guess doing it that way was not the way to live. <laughs> it looks like my bit rate's working out okay at the moment. Which is good, because I wasn't sure how that would work. Oh man, this guy's back. I guess that means everybody's back. Um, he doesn't look to be back. Alright, so not everybody. What about the... Oh, sit back. 
Maybe not. I wonder if I can do that. Oh, yeah, I guess not. So like one guy down. Okay, if we remember correctly, there's one soul here. That's pretty much it. So here I am. Run around, get our initial just random stuff. Now, since I plan to be a strength build. I believe I'm going to go after uh, the mace. I kind of like the mace. And uh, it's, it's solely based on strength. Uh, so I'm planning on going to the catacombs in order to do that. I guess that'll be my first place to go. one of the first places to go. I might run a, uh, a temporary uh, a suicide run to uh, New Lando to get the keepers. Oh, I don't believe there's anything in here that I might need.
I don't have any fancy mapped out plan to, to try to do things in a certain way. That's not... <laughs> I don't have anything planned. I'm kind of thinking through my plan as I'm sitting here. All right. I'm going to gain... Uh, let's see. Should we just level up? So that's where I need dex in order to, I still need to get strength a lot higher, but yeah, we'll, we'll do all that pretty quickly. All right. So I, I think I'll just run. I want to do a suicide run, but if I'm doing a suicide run, I guess I'll have to do two runs to New Londo. One will be the suicide run, which doesn't have to be suicide. I can, if I can get out of there. Probably would do a suicide run. You know, maybe I ought to try to figure out a uh, proper way to do a start. I mean, like, what's the most efficient way? I'm sure other people have done that. Uh, but I haven't done that, so. That could be one long list of people who've done a, uh, how to get to level 32 the, and be overpowered or something like that. I'm not sure where this is going to take me as far as what level. For this run, I don't need to be able to hit anything. I just need to be able to run. Just need to run and die. Which I should be able to do that, okay. out of there. Okay. That gives us a plus one. That's this flask. Right now we need to go get the bow. In order to get the bow, I will need to be able to... Um, attack these spirits uh, at least to move them out of my way I don't think I have to kill them I'm not sure I to remember all these things I do remember the path I need to take to get there though so that's something I don't think I need anything other than one of these. Alright. And then we just need to run. Actually, I haven't. I think I've always fought the first five or six guys. So just running through, this will be new for me.
This looks bad. These guys all look, look all crazy. Do you see them? They're running around like mad. But I just need to keep running. Don't pause when this guy hits you. Because he's going to hit you. Probably. You just keep running. Now you're safe. Because nobody chases you in here. Why they don't chase you in here, I don't know. But they don't. But now I have it. So I was right. I did not need to hit anybody. Okay, right now we don't have the ability to actually wield that because we need more strength pretty sure we need more strength oh no we can wield it all right all right so let's see what do we want to do next going to try catacombs next chances of dying are pretty high I only have 398 goals to lose so it's not that big of a deal uh, in fact I might be able to let's see uh, yeah let's see if I can Use a soul or two and, and uh, make that less. See what one of these do. Okay. 700. So one more of those will get me to 700. Doing this because of the me, the chances of me dying extremely high. <laughs> so, all right. So now we got seventy four to lose. Even with three hundred, it's almost nothing. So, my goal here is to get to the first bonfire in the catacombs and kill the guy that's there. And I'm planning on killing him with the firebomb. I always run up to these and then walk through, then run to the next one and then walk through. That always seems to work. Keeps you having enough stamina to continue going. Now this gets very tricky because this guy wants to block you from continuing. You gotta figure out how to get around him without him hitting you too many times. Alright, now we need to be ready to target and throw a bomb at this guy. This is my fault, totally. I forgot how to throw a bomb. Can you believe I didn't even remember how to throw a bomb? I kept swinging my sword. I was thinking, that's not throwing the bomb. <laughs> now, I tell you, this is not my first time. So I should know how to throw a bomb. I should know how to do it. <sighs> I guess I was concentrating so much on targeting the guy that I don't know. There's no excuse for not remembering how to throw a bomb. All 
All right, let's see if we can do that two times in a row. They're running by this first guy. I have died to this first guy, I think. I know leaving, I died to him. See if we can do this a little bit better this time. Complete. Let's go grab our measly couple souls. Just push this. All right. At this point, we need to get a humanity. So let's do that. So this means we, since we got four humanities, we can make this attempt four times. seed in these four times then uh, you know it'd be the end of trying this all right I probably can level up so let's level up our strength again I'm hoping to do now is to run get by the skeletons we're not going to kill anything we're just going to run so that's our only goal is run and then get to the spot uh, where we can get the cleric mace let's go our, our goal here is to dodge these guys as they try to attack Thank you guys. Alright, right there is a cleric thing. And we want to summon this guy. Heal up. Let's see if we can get the cleric. The uh, guy's gonna come save us. Has he started saving us yet? Oh yeah, there he is. All right, thank you. All right, let's go. Oh man. Okay, so we failed first try. We got the cleric stuff though, so that's good. Let's see. Um, we can change our equipment now to mace, maybe. It requires 12 strength. Yeah, which we have. Alright, so now we got the mace. Which will be our primary weapon now for a while. Uh, oh yeah, we need to... Three more tries. This one will be better because we'll be up there with the paladin, so it'll be easier to get away. But we still gotta get there. That's not easy. Last time we got there, but it was just, uh, I, I don't know, it seems like it's luck. 
Uh, if there's skill involved, I... Uh, I don't know. I, I seem to be more lucky than skill. I mean, for some reason or another, that time I was able to get by all these guys. Quite frequently, they're very hard to get by. Okay. Like this. They usually do that to block you from going. Alright, let's go. Alright, hopefully all those guys have jumped. But we can jump. Okay, then we can... Uh-oh. This is usually bad. Normally a skeleton comes up here and attacks us. Okay, he didn't. Alright, let's... Oh man, he already jumped down? Alright, so our goal is just to run. Uh, apparently we're doing a very slow job of it. Alright, so we barely survived that. Barely. <laughs> Leroy didn't survive it. Okay, so... <laughs> That doesn't happen often, but, hey, apparently it happens. Alright, since we're already... We don't have to waste a, another thing since it wasn't us that died. So let's see if we can get all these skeletons to do something other than attack us. Alright, so they all committed... Uh-oh. Oh, I wasn't supposed to fall like that. Okay, so I'm showing you how many different ways you can do something wrong. <laughs> I uh, probably shouldn't be showing you how to do things wrong. So don't step off of that at that spot. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I was not supposed to do that. I was watching to see what was happening to the skeletons and just walked off the edge. Wasn't even trying to walk off the edge. It's more like a slip off the edge. Okay, so this is our second to last try. We can try one more time. Oh man, I got hit that time. Alright, so let's try not to fall off this time. Oh man. Alright, heal. We gotta be pretty much full of health. Then you do this, and you live. Yeah, get away for that guy so he doesn't blow up on you. Alright, let's summon this guy. Alright, get healthy. Is 
Let's see what happens to Leroy this time because I don't even know what happened to him last time. He just jumped right off. Usually he waits until I jump. It looks like he's behaving this time. Alright, Leo. Get this one guy right here. Oh, I don't know where it went. Alright, run for it, run for it. Alright. I usually run down here to kind of encourage Leroy to continue through. I don't know if this actually works, though. Because he seems to just stay there anyway. He doesn't look as injured this time, so that's a good sign. So everybody's learning all the different ways that you can fail at this. Eventually, Leroy could come over here and join us in our battle. All right, hey, Leroy. You ready to show us what, what you can do as a paladin? One of the things he does, he has a area effect spell that's uh, pretty handy against these people, which we will probably see. My job is to stay alive. Which, uh, by the way, is not easy. I only have... I don't know. Do I, I don't know what I have. Maybe four flasks? We don't want to be hit by that. All right, Leroy did a good job. And somehow or another, I managed to stay alive. So that was me doing my part. And here we get a mask of some sort, which we'll, we'll wear. In fact, that turns out to be the best mask for our strength build, I think. Okay, so here we go. Now, we really don't want to lose any, our um, these souls, so we will... Um, before we leave this area, we will uh, spend those souls. Because running out, once again, has a high probability of death. So we want to have as few soil souls as possible. We don't have to worry about trying to get them back. Right now, we have too many. But I want to get these back. All right, let's go back. All right, so let's see what we can do here. All right. 
Looks like I'll try to get everything in strength still. Alright, so let's do that. Level up. Okay, we're up to 12. Yeah, I think I still want to get everything in strength. Let's get us up to strength of uh, 26. And we're level 18. We got 900 souls to potentially lose, which, oh well. Not much we can do about that. We're probably going to lose those. Now, my thought pattern on getting out of here is, um, yeah, probably three tries. So let's see if we can beat that. Do better than my expectations. Look at them swinging. They want me dead. Really badly. Alright, now we run for it. Come on, run. Run, guy, run. Run through these guys. Run around these guys. We make it. Oh, made it first time. There's always first time for stuff. <laughs> All right, I need 23 to gain a level. I wonder if I got enough of these goals to do that. Sorts of guys. See, how much are you? Alright. So I think that gives me within two, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not going to be enough. How close am I? Maybe I just go kill a couple of things. Hundred. So, what does these guys up here give you? The reason I worry is this next section is basically a suicide run. Strings at 27, I'll probably start putting things into or putting points in other stuff. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here. Let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them okay. both, and something happened. <laughs> brilliant, right? Not much to go on. Yes, but brilliant. I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. 
see what time it is. See if I'm almost. Yeah, I got like 15 more minutes, so. What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. Yeah, we're gonna try to, to fix climb it. the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burrow, within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> Great. Anything else? Hell, what is <laughs> it now? You ask too many questions. I do. Guess you don't want to tell me. All right, let's move on. All right, this time, what our plan is, is to go to an area we haven't been in. To, that's the reason why we have the thieves master key. Is to go to this area. We want to get to uh, the blacksmith so we can upgrade our weapons. Although we don't have, we got the souls we uh, haven't spent so far that we can use to upgrade our weapons. We'll have to buy some titanite shards and, you know, I don't know where we'll get our weapon, but maybe a plus three. So we'll just see. However many souls I get by the time we get there. Okay, we're pretty much finished with this area here. And now we get to run up here. And see, we're using the master key to get through this area. And that's the reason we got the master key was to open that one door. Uh, Blight Town is that way, which we will take Blight Town not too long after this particular run. Right now, we're going to try to run by these. Uh, at least not these, but that particular skeleton. I think we have fast roll, but I'm going to get naked. Yeah, that looks the same. So I think we had fast roll. Okay, here you have two items. You can grab this one on the left and not wake them up as long as you stay far enough away from that second one there. Uh, I have no use for that because that's a sword. So we're just going to ignore it. Uh, that's... We'll get that and then we'll go down here. And this is where the suicide run starts because we had to run by uh, that blue drake and that blue drake. And I'm not very good at running by these drakes. I'm, I'm in fact horrible. But it's possible. I mean, it's it's highly unlikely, but it's possible I could actually make it. The first one is the one I have a tough time with. I tried running on the inside, and he keeps throwing me off the edge to my death. And I try to run the inside, and he breathes on me and kills me. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's like a 25% chance of making it. But that still doesn't mean I couldn't make it this time. Just very unlikely I'll make it this time. Oh, that worked out better than I have ever had done before. I'm gonna say, watch the second one get me now. He's never done that before. Okay, so you come in here, jump up here, Unfortunately, there's a bonfire right out here, so we can just walk right out here and uh, not have to worry about death now because we'll have a bonfire just a few feet from where a black knight wants to kill us. Now we can fight this black knight and try to get his uh, halberd. Not really 
quite sure how likely it is that we can get it. Whoops, I don't want that one, do I? Yeah, I think I do. Don't have any range yet. We set it this bonfire? I think we did. Alright, let's go out here and see what this knight has to say to us. Yeah, that's the knight that uh, wants us dead. to do is miss him like three times. Come on, Black Knight. I need to talk to you. Oh. Ah. Well, that was a good move. I didn't see it coming. think we could use that anyway because I don't think our um, dexterity is going to be high enough to ever use that if it would have dropped it. I don't, still don't think that would have helped us any. And we can switch fields now. Alright, that's a good pick. So we got good luck that time. Now for the most part, my goal here is just to run by. Come 
my goal here is going to be the same to run by and hopefully I don't get hit by this guy. Get up here to safety. All right. Now we want to use up all of our souls that we've gotten so far and upgrade our weapon as best we can. So let's use our souls. what we can well you must be a new I'm on if it requires me I will get my guess Mister. all right then we will purchase we have none so let's get three we get four Up our weapon. All right, we need two more. Four. It looks like we might be able to do that. We'll just go with four. Get yourself killed. So four is a little better than I thought I would get. I thought I would probably only get uh, three. So we need twenty six hundred to gain the next level, so we can't do that. All right, I really don't want to die anymore now, so we're going to try to avoid death. Before I didn't really care. Now I care a little bit more. Not a whole lot. But a little bit more. So we're going to hopefully be able to kill these guys without them killing me. Oh yeah, we did. Two and one. Nice move. We have no poise right now. All right, so this phase here is going to be a uh, run. Okay, how are we? That that's a medium roll, pretty sure. Okay, if you take that off, still a medium roll. that there all right so we're going to take this fast thing and, and get out of here probably with this guy chasing us Looked like it really hurt. It smashed me right to the ground. <laughs> but it didn't kill me. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Not really. But in this case, I'll be a little bit stronger because I got that second uh, barkeeper sold. And with the fire second barkeeper sold, we will be able to get our flask up one more. 
and then we'll be ready to take on Blight. Blight Town. So we'll take on Blight Town next episode, not this episode. Got our time suck. Now my goal is to um, play this tomorrow also. Maybe even later today if, if I get an opportunity. I'm not sure if I'll get an opportunity, but if I do, if I get like an hour and a half of time that I think I'll have, and not to get it down to Blightwood and uh, defeat Mildred. I think that I, uh, that shouldn't take an hour and a half, uh, but if we, but that's what my goal is. I also want to pick up some pyromancy spells that are down there because one of them will be helpful for me getting my ring from Havel. So I want to try to accomplish that goal too. So, and then there's some, uh, the great clubs down there, which, uh, uh, and some large clubs, which would also be helpful. So all sorts of good things down in Blight Town. So we just got to have the time to get there and do that. So that'll be next time. So thank you everybody for being here. Uh, we'll hopefully on my next adventure, we will, it will turn out to be fruitful. So until then, see everybody later. Thanks for watching. Bye.